Solex Nation. It is February, and you know what my favorite thing about February is? I do know what Shelby's favorite thing about February is, and that's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, I love yes. Valentine's Day. Do you know what would be so sweet? <laughs> well, something that I'd love yeah. to do. Maybe everyone else would love, love this. this. Yes, okay, okay. It's, it's a sweet deal. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Enough of the dad jokes. <laughs> Buy one, get one free sugar pellets bulk pack. You can get enough for the rest of the year, maybe the rest in the next five years. I don't know. <laughs> you can. But buy one, get one free from today until the 14th. Which we'll is end Valentine's on Valentine's Day. Day so we're going to put some sugar pellets on sale. You get it? We yeah. hope you love this sweet deal. Yes. Okay. okay. How right, corny we're can done. we be? Yeah. Okay. Here's another thing, though, I want to say. Do you, can you think of a place anywhere where you can just get a raise whenever you feel like it? Well, we can at Solex, not not corporate. Not corporate. <laughs> you don't get nice. a raise whenever you feel like it. But you can get a raise this month. Yes, we're gonna do a special for the month of February, and it's already started. The liftoff bonus, instead of sixty-five percent of points, it's gonna be seventy-five percent of points, and so that's a special. We've never done that before. We that's haven't. gonna be a fun one. It is for this month. So you want to give yourself a raise? You're gonna give yourself an extra ten percent on there on that bonus, on that lift -off which bonus. already is pretty rich. So that's that's a fun thing to do. Seventy-five percent. That's pretty awesome, and that's the entire month of February. Um, so we're doing that. And then the last thing we wanted to announce, um, we've had a few questions about coming at our customer support about Dave Discovery. Mm. People are thinking that the tickets are no longer available, and that's yep. not true. You can still buy a ticket to Dave Discovery. Remember, it's a virtual event. Um, it will be open from March 4th through the 10th for mm -hmm. you to view uh, as, you, as you can, as you would like to. Um, yeah, go at your own pace. Go at uh, your own you know. pace. Yeah. Um, there will be a lot of hours, so if you are planning um, an activity with your group, just know that you're going to want to probably set aside two days to watch the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, should we say roughly, I mean, roughly about 10 hours of footage probably? It's about probably. 10 hours of content, so yeah. we're so excited about it. We're going to give some more info on that soon about um, topics and speakers. Uh, but we just wanted you to know the, what ended on January 31st was the swag bags. Yes. You can't order swag bags anymore. You can still get your virtual ticket. Yep, we're already putting those together the and getting bags. them ready to ship out. Yep. So we're just getting all the material in. We're excited about them. We, we're, we're, those are fun. They are fun. There are some fun things in there. So we had a contest last week. We and did. We said that anybody who signed somebody up between January 25th and the 31st mm -hmm. would be in this contest. And we were gonna actually draw two, two. names. Yes. And yeah, we so upgraded. whoever, yeah, so two names this time, and we'll draw the names of somebody, of, of who uh, signed someone on, mm -hmm. and then also who you signed on. And each person will get the swag the bag. The swag with bag. With the virtual ticket and the discount code. So that's four people. But before we draw, okay. I want to recognize everybody in this time period, in this week, that signed somebody up. Um, it's a pretty significant list. So let's go ahead and, and read that. Jasmine Sterling. Diva Bakunas. Carrie Ann Verapor. Sheila Yonimoto. Julie Watts. Stephanie Warner. Kimberly Ward. Kimberly Wallace. Nicole Vincent. Karen Urbanek. Jenna Stephens. Roe Seville. Mukti Saraswati. Michelle Sandwell. Yorketa Pollard. Alicia Miller. D. McIntyre. Tammy Marinaro. Gloria Liebecker. Daniela Lohr. Alexandra Kavana. Margot Johnson. Tashahara Yellard. Philip Hudson. Alicia Hicks. Lori Hart. Dr. Phil Harris. Nyla Gilliam. Julianne Ford. Juanita Espinosa. Mary Ensign. Ramiro and Elliot. Lene Dahl. Rochelle Curteau. Hannah Craig. Jocelyn Colom. Lisa Kate Chisholm. Caitlin Carlson. Deborah Carlson. Melissa Brown. James Bix. Janine Baudet. That was a long list. That was a long list. I am so sorry if, if I said one of your names wrong. 
We, Shelby's not sorry if she said <laughs> one of your names. <laughs> we probably butchered some of those, but so sorry about that. All right, do you want to draw one and I'll draw one? Uh, oh, of course. Okay. Yeah, they're coming out of the bowl. <laughs> no. Okay. Stephanie Warner and Amanda Davenport. Stephanie enrolled Amanda. Both of you are getting the virtual ticket with a swag bag. Congratulations. That's awesome. Congrats. All right, one more. These are coming out. Ramiro and Elliot, and they enrolled Molokar Experience. Awesome, Ramiro and Elliot, congratulations. You're gonna get the swag bag, the virtual ticket, and the discount code as well. Everybody in the contest, good job. Well done, we hope you felt like this was a great end to your month because it ended on the last day of the month and, and what, a, what a long list and yeah. prize to give away. So fun. Yeah. Should we tell them who the top enrollers from that list Yes, are? let's do top enrollers. Okay. Right. We had three. Jasmine Sterling, congratulations. Diva Bakunis. Well Bak done. Yeah, and Carrie, and I know I, Carrie, I know I said this name wrong, but I'll do my best again. Carrie and Varipur. Did I, I say it wrong? I don't know. We're so sorry. <laughs> Carrie, we love you. Please tell me how to say your name correctly, and I'll do it better next time. So all three of you will receive a Solex silver coin, and we'll get those out to you tomorrow. Um, now we're going to move on to the call. We're so excited about today. No, we're we, not. <laughs> we are. We have some great <laughs> guests. We have um, Deb Bruce is back, and um, she has some nuggets to share. Okay, we're excited we about the Bruce. We love Deborah Bruce. <laughs> and we also have uh, Dr. Pat Tucker. So we're yeah. excited about that. Yeah, so he's a great friend already. He is. Yeah, we love him here. You guys don't know him. I hope you do. Hope you like this call. Hi, I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about something that is very dear to my heart and that I've seen a lot of people affected by, a lot of clients, family members, friends. If you look at it, we have not just had a coronavirus pandemic of the body. We've also had a coronavirus epidemic of the mind and the emotions. Think of all the billions of people that never would have actually gotten COVID by the time this is over, but still lived for a couple of years and more under the stress of, am I gonna get COVID? What should I do if I get COVID? Am I gonna have my job? Am I gonna lose my job? Am I gonna have to get vaccinated to keep my job? Are my kids gonna get COVID? Is my mom who's older gonna get COVID? What am I gonna do if this? What if this? What if that? What if this? What if that? And what happens is the primal part of their brain back here get so engaged in the stress from day to day that they literally are living in fight or flight 24 seven. Now that fight or flight was meant to be engaged when you're about to have an accident, when your kid's under a car and you gotta lift the car, anything that's of an emergency nature, the body floods with adrenaline from the adrenals and you're able to accomplish and be hyper-focused in the moment to accomplish something that's needed because it is an emergency. Having that, being in that state for two years is not good for the body. It's very detrimental. Those poor adrenals are working day and night 24 seven to try to help you get through that stress and it interferes with everything. It interferes with digestion. It interferes with the ability to think clearly. It interferes with the body's ability to make hormones, to manage your water salt balance. It's, it's just, it's overwhelming. It even is where you can't repair when you're sleeping as much as you would if your body just turned off that fight or flight response and you went back to a balance between your sympathetic and, and uh, parasympathetic nervous systems. So what I really wanted to stress was how important it is to take trace minerals and how important it is to try to find some quiet time for yourself. Find some time to be self-soothing, to um, not be worrying so much, maybe start practicing med meditation, get some massages, anything that you can do. Taking a watch in nature, just taking a walk, getting outside every day for 15, 30, 45 minutes, you can actually start supporting and soothing your adrenals. Now, one thing that you have access um, through Solex to is the Solex Gold. And I've been using that since it came out with myself, 
with my clients, and I can't tell you how valuable that is. When it, it is worth its weight in gold. Now you gotta remember that the way that it was put together, it's a gold color, okay? So it's the fulvic and the humic acid, but there's a difference. The, the brands that are made cheaper will have kind of a black color. Um, that's because they're more of the humic acid. Ours is gold because it's the type of ac acid, the fulvic, that is so beneficial for your nervous system, so beneficial for every organ in the body, every system, helps with the adrenals. It's gonna put back into your system what is being depleted by your adrenals being in that fight or flight mode or saber-toothed tiger at the door and about to get hit by a bus. You gotta get yourself where you are um, making up for some of that stress. Now, are you gonna be able to just get rid of it? No. Every day in the news, there's new things coming out, new mandates, new problems with money, new problems with the government. There still is gonna be a level of stress there. Start managing it. Be forgiving to yourself. Be care of taking care of yourself. And make sure that you take those minerals because that is really, uh, it's just one of the best things that you can do to support your whole body and get it where you digest better, where your lymphatics move better, where your hormones are made better, where your mind's able to function better. It can help lessen depression, all types of things. So take advantage that you of the fact that you have access to one of the best tools that you could use, your scanner with your inner voice, back it up with that Solex Gold, and you'll be coming from two different angles in helping your body to get through this, this COVID pandemic of the mind and of the emotions. I hope that helps you. It's helped me, it's helped my family, and it's helped a lot of my clients. So I just wanna offer it to you that it's a great way to help manage stress. We have a real treat for you today. We have Dr. Pat Tucker here from Memphis, uh, or just outside of Memphis visiting us today, and he's a friend of Solex. And I'm gonna have Dr. Tucker explain to you how he got involved with Solex. How did you come to, to, to get into involved with Solex as well, a doctor? Well, Lauren, um, I've been a medical doctor for 32 years, and uh, all allopathic medicine, urgent care, ER, and um, my wife got me introduced to some functional medicine, and I started doing some training and realizing that allopathic medicine didn't have answers for everything, and the more I studied, the more I learned, and the more I realized that allopathic medicine was lacking in a lot of areas, but my wife brought home an AO scanner, and my first response was, Oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> and what she was telling me that it did was even more incredible. But uh, as I started playing with it and as she started uh, testing me and, and going through the, some of the basic training on it, I was just shocked. I was in awe. I mean, there are a lot of things I don't understand in life and I'm sure quantum physics is, is right up at the top of those. Uh, but I have come to learn that the AO scanner works and it's a quite an amazing tool. I, I think my first experience uh, with really proving the AO scan to myself was I was about to have an insurance physical to get new life insurance and I scanned myself either the day before or the day after, but during the life insurance exam, they drew blood to check all my cholesterol and all that great stuff. Well, I have a terrible family history of heart disease and my cholesterol's always been elevated. So when I tested, when I tested myself on the AO scanner and scanned myself, uh, it, it, was, it showed my cholesterol and triglycerides were all perfect. And I'm like, this thing doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, this is, I've, I've never had low cholesterol. 20 something years ago, I took statin medicine for just a little while and that's the only time it's ever been really normal. Uh, but I didn't like taking it, so I stopped and against my cardiologist um, opinion. But so I scanned myself. It showed my cholesterol and triglycerides and HDL were all normal. So I just kind of poo-pooed it 
and had the physical, they drew the blood. Well, about a week later, I got an email with my lab results from, from the insurance physical. And lo and behold, my cholesterol was as normal as it's ever been. I mean, completely normal. Uh, and I was totally shocked. And the first thing I thought of was, Dad gum, the AO scanner was actually right. I mean, it nailed that, and I never would have imagined that that would have happened. Now, how many times did your wife scan you before you did the physical? Oh, oh, dozens. Okay. Dozens of times. Okay. And usually it showed my cholesterol up, so that didn't really shock me. Uh, but when it showed up normal, I was, I thought, oh, I can't trust this thing. So it took some time. It took a little time. Okay, good. And, uh, and a lot of uh, experience as well. Mm -hmm. So tell me, uh, your, your wife introduced you to it. So how much opportunity did you have to play with it? It took a little while. My wife is kind of possessive of her AO scanner, so I had to grab it while she was asleep or uh, in, the, uh, in the shower and, and play with it. So it took me a little while uh, to get used to using the scanner and, and playing with it. But uh, the more I did, the more I didn't understand and the more I understood at the same time. Right. So you were telling me a little, a little earlier about a friend of yours who had been in an accident. You want to talk yeah, about absolutely. that? Absolutely. Sure. Uh, my wife uh, does a Bible study with a, a lot of ladies and she introduced the AO scan to her. Uh, she's very excited about the AO scan and it's just natural. So she, she just scanned them all. And they were all shocked and amazed with the AO scan. And we went out to eat with a couple one night and they came back to our home uh, afterwards. And his wife, my friend's wife, started talking about the AO scan and how amazing it was. And he told us the story, and I didn't know this ahead of time, but he told us a story about this terrible car wreck that he was in uh, when he was in college and slid up under the side of an 18-wheeler, uh, crushing his left upper arm, all the ribs in the left side of his chest, broke bones in his back. I mean, it just took him a very long time to recover from that. So that night at my house, we scanned him. And when he, he looked at his email and got the results, he just kept saying, no, no, there's no way. How would it know that? You know, it was showing up all kind of uh, residual problems in his, in his left shoulder and left chest and, and his back. And uh, he was totally shocked. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, it, is, it is amazing, very amazing. Now, Dr. Tucker, as a, as a uh, medical doctor, and your experience with the AO scan to this point, would you say this is a diagnostic tool? No, it's, it, uh, it can't be a diagnostic tool. Why? Well, one of the reasons is it's extremely sensitive. So let's say that we go somewhere and eat a salad. Mm -hmm. And on that salad, and we don't like to think about this, but on that salad there are lots of parasites lots of different bacteria, things that sometimes might make us sick, but not always. And our gut is, if you have a healthy gut, all that stuff just passes right through. Well, when you scan someone, you're picking up those bacteria and parasites that are passing through your, through your GI system, but they're not making you sick. So sometimes on the AO scan, you will see three or four parasites show up. And I mean, the first thing that I did when I saw that was, I don't have parasites. Well, I don't have sickness from parasites, but those may be passing through my GI tract or recently passed through my GI tract so that they're showing up on the scanner. So there's a difference between the frequency finding something there and diagnosing a disorder from that. So the AO scan can tell you a lot of things. That doesn't necessarily mean that those things are going to make you sick or create a medical diagnosis, that you're, that you're making a diagnosis with the AO scan. I appreciate that because we, we make a big point of the AO is not a diagnostic tool and should never be used as one. It's an educational tool to help people right. 
make better life, uh, life decisions. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things uh, that I look at the AO scan is it's, it helps you to understand some of the issue, some of the lifestyle issues you have. Just like me, high cholesterol, high triglycerides, things that we need to look at and realize that I need to change my diet. I need to lose 20 pounds. I need to start working out. And we can track those things with the AO scan. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're diagnosing you with high cholesterol or diagnosing you with any of those things being overweight, but it, it tracks those things to help you understand that you're unhealthy and that you need to do something to become healthy and to change those parameters. Appreciate that. <clears throat> that is so true. Well, we're so excited to have uh, Dr. Uh, Tucker join us and help us. He, and he's going to be with us on the day of discovery, and he's also going to help uh, in be part of uh, phase two of uh, Solex University. So look forward to uh, day of discovery. Get signed up for phase two as soon as it comes available. He'll bring to you a wealth of information from that perspective of the medical field and how these two can blend without crossing the line for either one. Absolutely. It's nice to have you, Dr. Tucker. Thank you, Lauren. See you soon. Hi, everyone. Great to be back again. First Wednesday in February 2022. Awesome year. All right. Uh, a few more questions that have come in this week. Really good questions. Um, the one I think I'd like to address right now is we had one that was had questions about the rife frequencies in the uh, Cephe unit and wanting to know is it the same strength and is it the same wavelengths and all that of a normal rife system and um, so let me take that in pieces the frequencies and the waveforms are definitely the same as in a rife plasma tube system okay so the rife systems that um, we work with and have worked with for the last 20 years are plasma tubes not plates that we put our hands on or tubes that you can hold. A plasma tube with the correct uh, intensity of rife frequencies being put through it, um, that radio frequency would burn the skin right off your, your hand. So you can't touch a plasma tube. That is the, the rife uh, frequencies that are built into the Cephe. However, it's not the same if you play those as if they were being played through a uh, plasma tube big difference. The information's the same, but in the CEFI, remember, the CEFI stands for subtle energy frequency imprinter. The key words here is subtle and imprint. So they are the right frequencies. They are the rife, the standard rife frequencies, but they are meant to be imprinted into like sugar pills, bracelets, um, whatever you want to use it for. It's a subtle reminder to the body that these frequencies can be utilized to help with us obtaining homeostasis, okay? Now, if uh, you were to take your Cephe unit and set up the right frequencies and play those uh, through a plasma tube amplifier into, or into an amplifier, then into a plasma tube, you would have an amazing Rife device. And sometime this year, it's our hopes to introduce a mini uh, Rife plasma tube that will interface directly with uh, your scanner. That isn't the case right now. But as you've got them, and, and this is your quantum frequencies, these frequencies are amazing when you imprint them as they're designed to in, this, in the mobile scanner to be used into your products, your rings, your sugar pills, your tinctures. So that is uh, how they are meant uh, to be used in the mobile scanner. So I hope that kind of clears up that question. So another thing I'd like to talk about uh, in, in this call today is the supplements, the, the supplement library and how better to use it. Now, let me just say that we're gonna go into a lot more detail on this in Day of Discovery. 
And then in phase two, uh, Deborah Bruce is going to cover this even more extensively. Um, but let me just give you some guidance here. The question about that we've received a lot is how on uh, how accurate is is it when the scanner suggests a supplement? And that's a really good question. So let me see if I can dissect that down a little bit. When you enter the supplements into your library is critical. When and how you do that. Remember a supplement you have to imprint or a copy into your supplement library um, as a dose. So if you've got a bottle of supplements, like say it's capsules and it calls for two capsules, you would only measure two capsules, not the whole bottle. So on your device, you would take a little shot glass. Um, we recommend glass over plastic or metal because glass is, has no interference with any frequency. So you would take your shot glass, put your, your capsules in the bottle, which whatever a dose would be. Now when you're li loading that into your li library, it asks you what the name is and a description. And the description's a great place to put the brand, if it's a specific brand. Um, so you'd load that in, you'd put in the dose, you'd go down and then you'd select this as a tablet or a capsule or a liquid or a tincture, whatever, once you select that, then you hit scan and save. Now when you do this, you're loading all of these supplements into your main library. That is not what you want to scan from. That's where you scan them. And when you do that, when you go to list what the name is, the description, and that's a great place to put the brand if you're using brands, uh, and then whether it's a capsule tablet or a tincture, you load all that in. But if you look over to the right side of that screen, there's a, a morning, uh, an av a midday, an evening, um, maybe special therapies or a general you have to select where each one of those would go. So is this a morning supplement, a lunch supplement, an evening supplement? Um, when you do that, now you're categorizing these supplements so that if you're doing a morning scan, it's only going to access and compare those frequencies of those supplements to your frequency at that moment in time. You don't want to do the whole, the, your whole lover library. It's too much. And you're going to get conflicting things because some, some supplements you don't want in the morning and obviously some you don't want in the evening. So you select the right categories. So now when you do your morning scan, it's only going to bring up the supplements that were for this you or the client that were stored in the morning uh, category. And then it will compare your frequencies of that moment in time against the frequencies associated to each one of those supplements. And then it will draw anywhere from one to six of those that your body resonates with the most, with the top one being the one that it resonate more firmly with. And then they get less as you go down the list. How accurate was the question? So I've given you a little bit of background on how to make sure you put them in correctly. So how accurate is it? That's a hard one to quantify. But I can tell you from my personal experience and the experience of those that I work with, we have found that over a period of time, that has proven to be um, unbelievably accurate or appropriate for we, the way I was or they were at the time that we did the scan. Now, if you're used to taking a lot of supplements, you're going to have some supplement withdrawal here because it's only going to pull up three to six of those, and you're maybe used to taking seven to eight, and you're going to say, well, wait, what if I, I should take this and I should take that? Trust what comes up, but verify. In other words, trust what comes up, and then just monitor how you feel through the day. Now, we do not suggest that you put your medicines in your supplement library. If you're on a, a blood pressure medicine or a diabetic medicine or any other type of medicine, do not put those in your supplement library. Only your supplements. So if you're taking medications, you continue to do that under the guidance of your practitioner, your doctor, your nurse practitioner, or whoever you, your health, uh, health uh, practitioner is. But your supplements, 
watch how well your body responds when you're putting in a like frequency. So how accurate is it? Test it just like I've explained. Trust it for a little while. And you're gonna find how accurate it is for yourself. For me and those that I know, it has been unbelievably spot on. So again, always listen to your practitioners, use common sense, and validate with yourself, okay? So, till next week, thanks. Lauren, I have a fantastic idea. Okay, and what is it? We have a whole bunch of new things for this uh, yes, coming day of discovery. We do. Let's do this. Anybody who comments on this call, let's give away something from something new that we haven't even disclosed yet. I like this. To that person. Yep. We'll do a drawing. So tell us in the comments what your takeaway was from this call. And like Kai says, you're going to get one. Are we It'll be a mystery. One? We introduce one. Well, let's do one. We haven't even like the, these are these are special items right now because nobody even knows about them. Okay, just one person's going to get one of these new items yes, in the yeah. swag bag. Mystery. We had a, have a mystery box right and here. You'll see it next with week. Question marks on it, things like that. Yeah. That's like what that. you're going to win. Like it. Okay. Have a good week. Bye. Have a little bit of some chapstick <laughs> right after you, Kai. Yes, <laughs> right there. That's good. No, it's not good. I, didn't, I can't see that side. Okay, I you... literally cannot leave my house, literally, until she fixes my sweat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, don't hang up yet. We don't have. Okay. You tell me to say that every week. No, 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 no. <laughs> she tells me all the time to say make sure that they don't yeah, jump up my call.